feel your presence in my life. I know you are always near. You understand me more than I can ever know. I can feel your presence in my life You go before me yet you always lead me on You guide me with your gentle hand You know my movements when I sit and when I stand I know you are always near. I can feel your presence in my life. I know you are always near. You understand me more than I can ever know. A hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear brothers and sisters, for this Holy Eucharist of Love. First of all, I wish to thank each one of you for your participation in the Holy Eucharist. Do share the link of the Holy Eucharist with your near and dear ones. We pray for your intentions. We pray for the sick and the suffering. We pray for Palestine and Israel for peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures, and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles, that as she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive, even to the end of the world, an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. Chapter 18, verses 14 to 16. Chapter 19, 6 to 9. The Red Sea became an unimpeded way. When peaceful silence lay over all, and night had run the half of her swift course, down from the heavens, from the royal throne, leapt your all-powerful word. Into the heart of a doomed land, the stern warrior leapt, carrying your unambiguous command like a sharp sword. He stood and filled the universe with death. He touched the sky, yet trod the earth. For to keep your children from all harm, the whole creation, obedient to your commands, was once more and newly fashioned in its nature. Overshadowing the camp, there was the cloud, where water had been dry land, was seen to rise. The Red Sea became an unimpeded way, the tempestuous flood a green plain, sheltered by your hand. The whole nation passed across. Gazing at these amazing miracles, 
They were like horses at pasture. They skipped the lambs, singing your praise, Lord, the Deliverer. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsoral Psalm. Remember the wonders of the Lord has done. Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Response Remember the wonders the Lord has done. He struck all the firstborn in their land, the finest flower of their sons. He led out Israel with silver and gold. In his tribes were none who fell behind. Response Remember the wonders the Lord has done. For he remembered his holy word, which he gave to Ab Abraham, his servant. So he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with shouts of rejoicing. Response Remember the wonders the Lord has done. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. Accept and submit to the word, which has been planted in you and can save your souls. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 18, verses 1 to 8. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for man. In the same town there was a widow who kept on coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long time he refused. But at last he said to himself, Maybe I have neither fear of God nor respect for man, but since she keeps pestering me, I must give this widow her just rights, or she will persist in coming and worry me to death. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust just has to say? Now will not God see Justice done to his chosen, who cry to him day and night, even when he delays to help them. I promise you, he will see justice done to them, and done speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find any faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we have the daily morning prayer for healing and deliverance. We pray daily for the sick to be healed. The Gospel reading of today from Luke chapter 18 verse 1 to 8 assures us of God's constant support, protection and help. We need to persevere in our prayers. In our daily morning prayer, we pray for the same intentions again and again. Because you and me will receive healing from God one fine day. We are not to give up. Just as he gives an example about a widow who keeps on pestering a judge for justice for her rights from her enemies. The judge finally gives in to the widow who keeps on pestering for justice. He is a man who does not fear God nor does he fear man, human being or any power or authority. He then 
feels to himself since this woman is keeping on knocking at the door requesting and asking again and again the same request he finally gives in to her to grant justice if this happens from a man who does not have fear of god nor of any authority how much more easily will our god grant it to us many of you have problems disputes court cases and these cases have been going on sometimes even from the ancestral disputes and we keep on fighting going to courts but if you are right you will get the judgment on your side never give up i don't mean to say we must keep on fighting but ask for what is your right and what is yours when you are sick suffering when you have some earnest requests pray to god very earnestly once twice thrice or any any ample number of times god will grant your wish dear brothers and sisters let us ask our dear lord to bless each one of us especially those who give up on the way who lose heart and lose hope that they may persevere in their knocking at the door of the lord and the lord will grant to them their need amen All things are thine, O Lord, we offer thee what we receive from thy hands. All things are thine, O Lord, we offer thee what we receive from thy hands. Blessed Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks to our holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim holy, holy 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 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my heart. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the Apostles Peter and Paul, for it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My dear friends, wishing you a very joyful day, and let us all persevere in our request to God and live Jesus. Wish, Wish you, you the, the same, same Father. Oh Mother most afflicted standing beneath the tree where Jesus hangs rejected on the hill of Calvary. Oh, Mary, sweetest mother, we love and pity thee. Oh, for the sake of Jesus, let us thy children be. Oh, for the sake of Jesus, children be. Thy heart is well nigh breaking, thy Jesus does to see. Be right the wounded dying in greatest agony. Let us the children be.